I really want this video to be a wake-up call for everyone that watches Hamza, Chris from First Man, and Ice Cold JT. And the thing is, also my videos. There's a point in your self-improvement journey where just watching another self-improvement video becomes another distraction that keeps you away from putting in the work to essentially achieve some tangible progress in your goals. You can probably understand the main idea of Chris's channel, First Man, in around one hour. There's a male advantage, and if you can stop doing the stupid activities as a young man, and also as well, as if you can start really putting in the work, some real, real work on your body, on your confidence, on your mental health, on your business, you will be able to live an essentially amazing life after your 30s where you hit your peak and you will live essentially a basically a top, a high level men's life. I 100% agree to this. And when you think about it, you can also understand the main idea of Hamza's channel in around one hour as well. Don't be a stupid Jeffrey, get your ass into the gym, start meditating, start gratitude journaling, and do the delayed gratification activities that your future self is going to be proud of because that is going to be the only way for you to essentially build a life that your future self is truly, truly proud of. These are the things that I preach on my channel as well. However, why am I saying that you shouldn't be watching, for example, Hamza's videos? Why you shouldn't be watching, for example, Chris's videos? Hamza said it himself. The best fans that he has are people who used to watch his channel some time ago, but right now they don't really consume his content because they don't need it. They pass the initial stage of self-improvement where you need motivation, watching motivational like self-improvement videos to take action. Write this down. You don't need more information. What you need is right now implementation. I bet that if there's someone in your class like who is slightly into self-improvement, he might come to you and ask you like, okay, what is self-improvement? What is meditation? Like, how do you do it? What is NoFap? What are the benefits of dopamine detox? Or he might ask you anything about self-improvement. And I know for a fact that you will probably be able to answer that question really well. You will explain to him, okay, this is dopamine detox, we don't do, for example, we don't play video games, we don't have uh, fat, uh, we don't watch porn, and what we do is we focus on the main things in our lives, we try to be successful, you can explain all those things to him. But the problem is, you are not consistent in any of those things yourself. You still do not have a journal. Your meditation streaks are non-existent. Even though you have been telling people, oh, you should get out of your comfort zone, you are still in your comfort zone. You don't do anything to essentially expand your horizon. You don't do anything to essentially improve your confidence. I haven't seen your ass in the gym for the last two weeks. Bro, where are you? Even though I told you a million times, you still didn't create yourself a timetable. You click onto a Hamza video, you click onto my videos, you click onto uh, Ali Abdal's videos, you click onto First Man videos, you click onto, for example, Ice Cold JT's videos, and you watch them, and you feel like you are doing something productive, but in reality, you are literally not doing anything. You are thinking that you are building yourself an amazing future, not realizing that in order for you to essentially achieve that, in order for you to build yourself an amazing future, you need to get your ass into the gym. You need to start meditating, exercising, journaling, uh, reading, and doing all those self-improvement habits, principles. And you should be adopting five principles of happiness, as Samsa talks about. Discipline, humility, presence, gratitude, and leadership. The truth is, this is my fucking business. Like, this is exactly how I provide for myself. I make my money through helping young people discover self-improvement and change their lives. So I feel obligated to make this video and tell you that, like, this is my business. In order for this business to run, we need to make money. So we need people like me, Hamza, Chris from First Man, everyone needs more people to watch their videos. But you need to understand this one point. You are never going to make any progress in your life through just watching these type of videos. Don't use self-improvement educational content as your entertainment. This is not another way for you to get more dopamine uh, so that you're gonna fry your dopamine receptors once more. Whoa. The future success that you have been desiring is only going to come if you can drop all those like modern day distractions. These are fapping, watching porn, uh, playing video games, uh, being on social media, uh, if you are using any other like drugs or alcohol, which I've never done in my life to be honest, and dropping all those distractions to focus on the things that matter in your life. Get onto a dopamine detox. This is something that I've been talking about on this channel for the last two months, I guess, and this is incredibly important. Get onto a dopamine detox. If you don't know how that should be happening to you, I have a video about monk mode and I also have a Skillshare course linked in the description if you want to check that out. There's something called self-improvement ego that helped me from making progress for a long time in my life, and you probably have this too. Self-improvement ego is basically you know that self-improvement exists and you know that self-improvement is really really valuable and is going to change your life and you kind of practice it, not really, but you watch a lot of videos about it and you think that you are really special because you know about self-improvement and most of the people in your class are not. But you literally have pretty much no difference to those people who don't know that self-improvement exists. They fap, 
UFAP. They watch porn, you watch porn. If they play video games, you do too. If they procrastinate all the time, so do you. But you think you're special from them. Because the thing is, I used to feel like this all the freaking time. I thought that I was the only guy in the world that knew about self-improvement. I like, of course, that was a, that's like an exaggeration, but I thought that I was really, really special in my class. Even in my grade, like 180 students in my whole grade, nobody talked about self-improvement, but I knew about it. So I thought that I was special. But when you looked at my life with a really harsh look, there was not much difference to a person who gets good grades and does okay in his life and me. I was on self-improvement, he wasn't, but there was not much difference. You need to understand this one thing. There are millions of people in this entire world who is watching self-improvement content, but only maybe 2-3% of them are gonna take action and are gonna achieve something good. And if you can be in that 2-3% range, that's amazing. Think about the view count that Hamza gets. Hamza gets a ton of views. 2, 3, 5% of those people are gonna take action. It might be even like lower, maybe, yeah, 2% seems like a no normal number. People are not gonna take action. So please do not use my videos, Hamza's videos, Chris's videos, I School JT's videos for another way of dopamine hits, another way to procrastinate, another way of not doing anything while getting your, tricking your brain into thinking that, well, you're doing something actually important. Understand this principle. You are not gonna make any progress in your life if you just watch self improvement videos. If you don't implement, there's not gonna be any progress. So when I think about it, I think the call to action to this video should be this. There is one action you need to be taking after this video, after watching every single one of those self-improvement videos. If you are getting into self-improvement, if you are in the initial stage of self-improvement, I think the one thing you should be doing is create yourself a habit chart where you have the four main self-improvement habits. Drawing, meditation, reading, and exercising. Have these four habits and do them every single day. If I could go back to my 16-year-old self like two years ago, in the beginning of my self-improvement journey, I would literally grab him by his collar and scream into his head like you should be doing all these self improvement habits every single day man like there's no way around this this is the keystone to success i love hamza i love chris from first man i love ice cold gt i love cole hastings uh, i definitely do have some points that i want to argue with them maybe in the future however i love what we are doing as self improvement cre uh, creators for this generation like we are trying to lift lift you up but please don't use these type of like motivational as well as like self improvement videos just another way to procrastinate that is the main premise of this video never ever feel accomplished after watching one self improvement video that is the trap of this self-improvement YouTube space. Allow yourself to feel accomplished only after the things you do in your life, not the things you watch. For the top two, three, four, five percent of the people who are gonna take action after this, I salute you. I love you, I support you, keep crushing it. Thank you for the motivation, now it's time to take action.